Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Matt and it is Wild Wednesday. First and foremost, I do hope each and every one of you are having a great morning, evening, dawn, day or dusk, all that lovely stuff because life's too short as is. Uh, uh, I hope you're watching some great movies and binge watching some fun series in the process because we all got to have some entertainment from time to time. Uh, uh, speaking of entertainment, please do like, share and subscribe and always look in the description box for more information of the daily film such as your brief synopsis, your starring cast, your director, the runtime of the cut I am watching, and if there are any other cuts, uh, if this one has suffered any cuts along the way, which this one has not, and it will not, and it will never, ever, ever, ever be cut, uh, uh, because the fine folks at DIY Productions are... Uh, are very good at what they do and they do not uh, uh, cut their stuff which is amazing but uh, um, there's also going to be some trivia in there if I find anything worthwhile and then there's going to be a link for a trailer uh, now today I didn't write a, a uh, synopsis on there because it's very hard to write a synopsis when when there really isn't a whole lot of story uh, there really isn't a story as is there is really no character arc uh, uh, any back background no no nothing there's there's no sympathy for any of these people uh you're just giving these folks right out right from the get and you got to deal with what they are who they are and and um why they're doing what they're doing without even knowing what they're doing without even knowing why they're doing what they're doing uh, uh some people are just sick and and uh uh, uh these guys that do this are are sick puppies <coughs> but anyways <clears throat> This is none other than Necro Necromance, a love story. Yes, yes, yes. Directed by the great Yan Chaos or Yan, or I'm not sure 100% uh, how to say your name. I'm so sorry for murdering it, but uh, uh, also known as Necro Chaos, which uh, um, on here, you know, f the dead, hate the living, which is uh, he was so nice to autograph this, and this is limited to 666 copies. Um, unfortunately. It does not tell you which number you get. Uh, uh, I wish it did. That would be kind of cool. But um, uh, I understand not wanting to go and and uh, uh, print off 666 copies and write it one by one for 666 times. That would just get a little old and monotonous by the time you're at the end of uh, uh, 25. I imagine. I imagine. I would expect that to get quite uh, old and, and and boring quite fast. Uh, now, who's in this movie? Oh, well, which, by the way, the um, the only special features on here are are uh, um, the trailers for Necro Necromance, uh, but there are no other other trailers or or uh, anything else for for any kind of special features. So do keep that in mind. No making of kind of stuff. Uh, you, you get the feature and that's it, which is is perfectly okay with me. This is a short feature length. Um, it is running at an hour and one minute. It. Uh, so it, it does have a little bit of uh, uh, length to it, but it is not uh, um, too excessive. Which I think this one is just right because if it would have gone over, gone up, uh, uh, up over that like six or not sixty, but uh, uh, 80, 90 minute. 80, 90 to 100 minute mark um, uh, that would have uh, been a little too much and it probably would have uh, uh, hurt the film in the long run because uh, there's there's not really much more you could do with as far as the debauchery these guys were up to. Uh, the only other thing that you could do, if you were to extend it, you would you would need some more backstory, at least for, for your two uh, uh, villains because um, I'm curious. I, I want to know how they met, where they, you know, and where they met, uh, why are they the way they are. I, you know, that is one thing. I think if this one had an expanded universe, I think it'd be kind of fun. Uh, uh, maybe a possibility if you think about it there, Jan, uh, or Jan, or, or Necro Chaos, as you are um, uh, listed in the credits for this one. Which, by the way, this uh, uh, does have a really nice looking DVD. Let me see here. Uh, I can't remember if it's DVD or DVDR. It is a DVDR, just to let you know, folks. Um, uh, that I couldn't remember. It's been 
been a minute since I wa watched it. Not really. I watched it yesterday. <laughs> Not yesterday, the day before I watched it. Um, but I forgot to look and see if it was a DVD or DVD-R. Uh, I kind of expected it to be a DVD-R. The only thing that, that bums me is this artwork. It, uh, it's a little short for the box. It needs to be a little more fluid in there. I had to fix that. That was driving me bonkers. Um, but, um, very, very good sleek packaging, so I'll give you that. Now, as far as what is this movie about exactly, um, it's about, uh, these two guys that break into this girl's apartment while she is taking a shower. They drug her uh, um, while she's, uh, they, they basically put drugs, they sneak into her apartment while she's showering, they stick drugs into her beverage, which I'm guessing is coffee, uh, cause it was in a coffee mug, but, um, uh, they, they drug her, um, and then they, they, uh, go in and they slaughter one of the, slaughter her child, which you don't see that on, on camera by any means, you just see later on the head, the, the baby's head and and the uh, after effect for that, but we're not going to get there to that part yet. But uh, um, they they sneak out. She gets she finally passes out. They come sneaking back in. Uh, they then kill her with they wrap barbed wire all around her and strangle strangle her with barbed wire, which is a fun little little interesting way to go. Uh, uh, it definitely would not be not be a way I would like to go. Uh, so so that was kind of fun and inter fun and, and cool to see see that death going on. Uh, uh, but then, actually, I think that's when they go into the baby's room, and but they but they one hundred percent kill the baby. Uh, um, you see them pull the baby's head out and show the uh, the mother uh, while she's still alive before she is completely choked out. Uh, then they they decide to take her and put her in the the bathtub, and I think it was like three weeks later is when they decide to go back, and the bodies are extremely extremely beyond belief on um how uh, uh decomposed they are which which if you can see on here you can kind of get a good gauge uh, or a good a good uh, idea of what you're dealing with so it, it uh um it does have it, it does pack a punch on the uh, gross factor on that end um so so it does get a little little soupy and wet and and um nasty plain nasty <laughs> but um they they have they stick both her and the uh the baby's corpse inside the uh the uh bathtub fast forward it three weeks later uh uh the uh they decide to chop off the legs to the to the uh um uh, uh, skeleton. They first decide they're going to take it and they're going to go over onto the couch and and have a little little rub down session with the corpse. Uh, um, a little a little interesting one. He uh, um, pulls a lot of stuff out of her and, and like like eats it and rubs it all over his face. Really disgusting, vile stuff. Uh, pulls her intestines out. Um, does all kinds of, of nasty things um, that uh, uh, I really liked. Uh, um, a little a little over, to over the top, and, and I don't really... I not scientifically correct, but that's not why you watch this. This is not a a biopic or a character character uh, uh, d d a character study. That's where I was trying to go. This is not a character study. Um, but uh, uh, they they. Uh, 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 he he's eating the stuff off of her and in inside of her, and then he decides he's going to rape her, her corpse, which um uh is very uh uh real. It look uh, like I'm guessing that was the guy's real penis going inside of there. It didn't look like a fake penis by any means. It looked real to me. Uh, the one thing I do like about him, he did practice safe sex with both times he had sex with the corpses. And yes, I said corpses because he at one point decides he's going to have after he eats out the baby's guts and and pulls out the intestines on that, uh, all that fun eviscerated and 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 basically 
basically take all the poop and, and peas and, and the dead blood and whatever else is left inside and just like mess around with it and rub it all over himself. And then he decides he's going to fuck the corpse of the baby. Uh, very, very, um, that was what really pushes it over the edge, in my opinion. Uh, that was a new one. I have never seen anything like that. Uh, 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 Yan, or Yan, you did a great job on that one. Uh, you definitely got me cringing. <laughs> and going, ooh, ooh, that's gross. But uh, I still, I loved it from beginning to end. Um, I can't say anything bad about this movie, guys. I think it's very, very fun. Um, if you haven't, couldn't tell by some of the, by my description of it so far. But, um, uh, uh, it's definitely not one you want to watch with the family. Uh, it's one you want to be very selective with who you watch it with. I watched it with with my fiance because she's a she's a trooper, and she'll she'll sit through a lot of the crap that I have in my collection. A lot of stuff that is just straight up sleaze and and debauchery stuff like this. You know, I mean, uh, uh, I have a couple of other uh, uh, DVDs from Jan, and um, uh, I have what is it uh, Beyond the or. Oh, they got the Followers of the Deadlight, that one, which I need to get to that one. And then I have a short anthology one, which has, I believe, the Meat Butcher Babies on it. Butcher Babies. Uh, Meat Butcher Baby uh, franchise or collection or or whatever you want to call that. Uh, I believe that's on there as well. So if you're really interested, definitely check that out. Um, the only way I know to get... get um, any of these is through Jan himself. Uh, on Facebook, I will have, um, uh, I will tag him on there. So if you are interested, you can at least check out his, you can at least give him a shout. Uh, he's very reasonably priced. It is Canadian, you're converting into Canadian money. And so, so you do gotta, you do got a little bit of a, uh, uh, a difference in your, in how much you're paying for things. Uh, um, and then like, um, so he also got that extended shipping as well. I think I got three movies off of him for like 60 bucks, and, and that was with shipping, something like that. I can't remember. It's been a hot minute since I ordered all three of them. I ordered them together, and, and uh, 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 he was so nice to autograph each and every one of them and get them out to me as soon as possible, even though we were in the middle of the COVID and... Uh, uh, Oh, excuse me. I don't like talking about the uh, the the C nineteen too often because I I think it uh, is a Debbie Downer and it has nothing to do with what I'm here to do and talk about movies. So um, I'll leave it at that. But uh, um, in the middle of all that, I was able to get these within like three weeks. I believe it was two and a half weeks. Uh, it was a little bit longer, but I I, I was expecting that, um, and I would still expect that with with the way. Um, postage is right now uh everything that you're going internationally all right guys so as far as any kind of technical side goes this is not a movie to watch for any kind of technical aspect um uh the filmmaking the filming uh the cinematography works it's nothing um Nothing that is, it's below average in my opinion when it comes to a technical side. But like I said, that's not why you're watching this movie. You're watching it for the entertainment value. And this one does have a lot of entertainment value if you are a sick and depraved puppy like I am. Just saying. Um, so on a technical side, I'm going to give it probably a two out of five. So um, it is a little on the a little below average on uh, as a technical built movie. Uh, a lot of it is because you know it is very basic shot. Um, uh, it's the the camera moves around a lot. Uh, uh, there's no real acting. Uh, I was a little bummed. You got your 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 female. You got her down to her bra and your panty and her panties, but you didn't give us the goods. I was a little bummed about that. I'm not gonna lie. That is one one of the great things about watching sleazy, trashy movies like this is you usually get some nudity in there. Uh, but unfortunately, the nudity I got was a male penis. 
<laughs> which I'm okay with. Whatever. I'm. I'm not. Uh, I'm very comfortable with my sexuality. But uh, uh, as far as an entertainment side, this thing's probably a three out of five. Again, it's it's uh, uh, this is like a five out of ten kind of movie. Um, it's not meant to swing for the fences and, and be a home run. Uh, uh, it, in my opinion, that's not what it's supposed to be. Um, I don't look at his filmmaking style as as uh, uh, as like he's trying to become uh, this super famous um, cinematographer or editor or or uh, uh, script writer. Nothing like that. He's 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 set out to do what it is that he he's doing and it was set out for his his uh niche you know his niche or his niche however you pronounce that uh but he has definitely carved it out and and he knows where his strong points are and where his low points are and he doesn't um try to fool you with with uh um any kind of weird editing like jumps jump uh cuts as as um what some company or not company some directors will do um i think it sometimes it works very very well but then there are times when it feels lazy as shit uh but uh um thankfully he does not do any of that in here i think it would have hurt the film in in the long run so um uh thank you for for uh making what you did jan uh um i really enjoy it uh uh necro chaos or yeah <laughs> alright guys I'm going to put that down I'm going to get the hell out of here I got some stuff to do tonight uh, tomorrow and Friday I have no idea what I'm going to review but I will have something lined up maybe a Jess Franco movie for tomorrow I'm not really 100% alright guys love your faces